Howdy y'all, my name is Andrew, welcome back to the channel. If you like what you see here, please leave a like and subscribe and help my fledgling channel get off the ground. Today we're gonna to be looking at Counter-Strike 2. Counter-Strike is of course a classic competitive shooter and we're gonna be taking a look on the 4070 Ti at a range of settings from 1080p up to 4K. So we'll see if we can still have a competitive experience at higher graphical settings. That'll be fun, so let's get right into it. Before we get going here, we've got an RTX 4090 Ti i7-13700K, 64 gigabytes of 6400 MHz DDR5, and we're on a uh, 1440p 240Hz monitor. So very nice for competitive gaming, in my opinion. So for whatever reason, Counter-Strike 2 doesn't seem to like my overlay from CapFrameX, so we're just gonna use the NVIDIA overlay for this uh, and, until I can find a workaround for that. Um, but real quick, let's just take a look <coughs> at the options here. Let's go to full screen so we have a chance to look at the different resolutions. We're going to set initially our resolution to 1080p. And let's take a look at the advanced settings here. So I'm gonna take all of the settings just to their highest, uh, their highest possible level to start off with at 1080p and let's just see what happens. We also have a, <clears throat> an FSR setting, which is interesting. We'll test that out as well. And reflex is on, that's great. Love to see that. So let's get ready here. I'm, <laughs> I'm curious to see how this is gonna be. We're gonna play against some bots, that should be fun. So right away, it's got this very simplistic art style that looks a little bit more cartoonish, I would say, than I've seen before. <laughs> of course I go down. But it's got a very nice solid look to it, I would say. <clears throat> it looks a little bit more animated. So that's cool. And we are getting just like tons of frames at 1080p and this looks really good at 1080p. It looks so solid. So right away I can say this is performing obviously excellent at 1080p. This is performing fantastic at 1080p. You cannot go wrong with this. <laughs> if you have a 4070 Ti and you're playing competitively, this is absolutely uh, maxing out this 240p or 240. This is a great experience on a 240 hertz monitor. It's just fantastic. So this is clearly an excellent high refresh rate experience at 1080p on the 4070 Ti. Did, I mean, did you expect it to be any different? It's gonna be really interesting to test this. <laughs> As I'm killed by the bot. It's gonna be really interesting to test this more on lower end hardware. That's really where it's gonna, it's gonna, that's really where the questions are gonna lie is on lower end hardware. So clearly this is a high refresh rate experience at 1080p on the 4070 Ti. So let's increase our resolution. I don't know if there's much else to do but that right at the moment. So at 1440p, we are still around 300 frames per second. Boy, I don't know if there's gonna be that much to talk about with this. The game uh, looks good. It didn't look, it, it looked 
Good on 1080p also. The one thing you look at here is that latency and <laughs> and our latency went from about four milliseconds to uh, maybe over six. So you have a little bit of additional latency. I think for competitive gamers, that's going to be a big deal. And maybe not a huge deal, but it'll be a deal. So yeah, boy, if you had a 360 hertz monitor or uh, something over 300 hertz, you are gonna be in heaven with this. Oh, oh man. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> this isn't my game. What can I say? I mean, I don't know what we necessarily expected to happen here, uh, but this is clearly an incredible competitive experience. Clearly. <laughs> oh, what a shame! Shame! Shame on me. So. We're obviously able to have a competitive experience at 1080p and 1440p, obviously. So now we need to try at 4K. <clears throat> so here we are at 4K. Now we're getting into a place where maybe some competitive gamers wouldn't like this as much. Looks great, but I, it, it, it you know, we've got a little bit higher latency. We keep going up a few milliseconds each time. And we're just in the, we're in the hundreds. We're in the 130, 140 range. So this might not be that desirable for the more competitive gamers. But let's run around a little bit. Let's try some more. We did, now we've done the tutorial, I guess. So here we go. <laughs> and also here we go in a in a real match. So we'll see how the performance is affected by the online play. Maybe just a, a couple frame a couple frames per second fewer. But that's all. Actually, I, I don't even know if it's any, to be quite honest. Hey, I got a guy. I got a real guy. I got a non-bot during the warm-up. Oh, hello. <laughs> you love that. Okay, real quick, before I make anyone mad, let's turn on. Let's turn on at 4K. Let's do ultra quality <clears throat> DLSS or uh, FS, ultra quality FSR and just see how that affects anything. Feels very nice and smooth. Picture looks good. So yeah, this looks good. The uh, ultra quality didn't seem to affect the, the frame rate too much, which is normal. So let's just go up to, let's go up to quality and see what happens. So quality gives us a little, another little boost. Nothing too exciting. And if you're a competitive gamer, you're probably not doing 4K. Like, that's all there is to it, really. Hey, I helped! <laughs> I helped, let's go! So yeah, a little bit of a boost. I think that's a nice, this is a all, these are all worthwhile boosts to performance at 4K if you really want to play this at 4K. And, it, <clears throat> which I don't think you do, but, so we might as well go down. And uh, by the way, all of these settings look really good. So we might as well go down to, at this point, um, let's try the balance setting. And just see if we can squeeze some more frames out of this. And yeah, so it looks like we're gonna get up into, it looks like we're gonna get up into the 180s, 190s. We started off, we started off in about like the 130s or 140s. 
at 4K native resolution. Now we're way up here. So yeah, we're even getting up over 200 FPS at times. And the fidelity doesn't look any worse to me. And I think that's probably because of the simplistic art style. And I, and I think the thing I'm picking up about it looking more cartoony is it's just, it's very, it's kind of colorful. It's very bright and colorful, at least on um, the dust map, you know. So I do notice it has uh, a lot of sharpening going on with FSR. Dang! <laughs> This was, this was never my game, unfortunately. So obviously, this game is playable at all settings. On a 4070 Ti. Now, this graphics card is <clears throat> overkill. If this is what you're doing. However, at 1080p, if you have like a 300 plus refresh rate, a 300 plus hertz monitor, you could use this graphics card at 1080p. And you would be able to utilize all of those frames. Say you had a, a 300 plus hertz G-Sync display, you're gonna be in heaven with that. Yeah, you will be, you would be in heaven with this GPU on a high refresh rate, like 300 plus refresh rate monitor. So quickly, let's go back. Let's go back to like more competitive settings with, with, uh, so let's go back to 1080p. Let's go back to 1080p, man. If you have this particular graphics card, a 4070 Ti, If you have a 4070 Ti, you can play this game on a 300 plus hertz monitor competitively at max settings and fully utilize your display. So yeah, this is really the way to play. I don't see any reason at playing at higher resolution. It, it appears to me that this game is this, it, it appears to me that this game is optimized graphically to look good at any resolution, at, well, at 1080p. This game is really optimized to look great at 1080p. I think that's what they're going for with the art style. And yeah, even, like, even bumping up the resolution at all doesn't seem to do much for how it looks. It just doesn't. All right, well, we didn't do that great. <laughs> oh, man. So what did we learn from all that? Well, we learned that I'm really bad at this game. That's for sure. <laughs> but that's okay. You don't have to be amazing to be able to look at, uh, at your graphical settings and your frame rates. Uh, what else we learned is that I don't think that you anyone even needs to play this game above 1080p. Certainly not competitive gamers. I don't see any benefit to even increasing the resolution as far as visuals go. The art style seems to be catered to playing at a lower resolution and a higher frame rate. And speaking of that, on the 4070 Ti, this seems to be the optimal performance level to hit over 300 frames per second at 1080p. So if you are a competitive gamer with a super high, free, high refresh rate monitor over 300 hertz, yeah, go for it. Uh, go for a 4070 Ti, I guess. I, I should say, if you're a competitive gamer and you happen to have a 4070 Ti, and a 300 
plus refresh rate monitor, you're gonna be in heaven. It's gonna be great. You're gonna love it. And uh, I think that's about it for me for this one. So once again, please like and subscribe if you like this video and you wanna see some of my other content. And I'll see you next time.